Once again leading the way in the storage industry, WD now offers up to three terabytes on a single internal hard drive. Because drives with capacities in excess of 2.19 terabytes currently present some barriers for PC hardware, firmware, and software, there are some things you'll need to pay attention to during installation. Some host bus adapter, chipset, and storage driver vendors in the market presently do not support drives larger than 2.19 terabytes, so WD is shipping WD Caviar Green 2.5 terabyte and 3 terabyte drives with an ACHI compliant host bus adapter, or HBA, to help prevent potential compatibility problems. Once installed, the HBA allows the operating system to correctly support large capacity drives if your system is capable of supporting a drive larger than 2.19 terabytes. I'm going to show you how to add a 3 terabyte hard drive as secondary storage in a Windows 7 PC using the included HBA. It's important to note that Windows 7 32-bit and Windows Vista 32-bit operating systems do not support booting from SATA devices that are greater than 2.19 terabytes, so you should only add these drives as secondary storage. Before you begin, it's important to first consult your operating system and motherboard solution providers before you install a drive with greater than 2.19 terabyte capacity in your system. Even with the adapter from WD, in some cases, your system may not be capable of supporting such large capacity drives. Once you've verified that your system will support a hard drive with greater than 2.19 terabytes, you may safely proceed by following the simple installation process shown here or by following the steps in the quick install manual. Before you start, make sure you have the following items. An external drive for backing up your current files, a Phillips screwdriver, a SATA cable, which should already be in your computer. If not, you'll need to purchase one. And your new 3TB WD Caviar Green hard drive with HBA card. It's important to note that the use of the bundled HBA is highly recommended to achieve the full capacity of the drive. It's also a good idea to have the original disks for your operating system and all your software. Now let's get started. First, back up your personal files on your computer to protect your data. We recommend you save the data to an external drive, such as a MyBook or a MyPassport external drive, as it's faster and easier than using DVDs or other media. Next, let's unpack your new 3TB hard drive. Do not unpack the hard drive until you're ready to install it. To avoid ESD problems, ground yourself by touching the metal chassis of the computer before handling the hard drive. WD hard drives are precision instruments and should be handled with care during unpacking and installation. Hard drives can be damaged by rough handling, shock, vibration, or electrostatic discharge, commonly referred to as ESD, so there are a few things you should be aware of before attempting to install it. After your WD hard drive is unpacked, Place the drive on the static shielding bag it came in on a clean, level, padded work area. Articles of clothing generate static electricity, so be sure clothing does not come in direct contact with the hard drive or circuit board components. Handle the hard drive by the sides only and avoid touching the circuit board components. Do not remove the tape seal or any labels from the drive as this will void the warranty of the hard drive. There are many options for installing a drive. For the purpose of this instructional scenario, we will walk through the simple task of adding a secondary storage drive. Now that the drive is safely unpacked, let's begin the installation process. Turn off your system and unplug it. Discharge static electricity by touching the metal chassis of the computer. Remove the computer's outside cover. You may need to consult your computer system manual for details. This may require a screwdriver. Be sure to keep all screws and other parts together for easy reassembly. Most desktop systems will have at least two drive slots, and you will want to verify this prior to beginning the install process. As you see here, we have one available drive slot. You will also want to check to make sure the system has an available PCI Express slot. The first thing you'll want to install is the HBA.
Start by removing the bracket cover within the system. You'll notice the HBA comes with an attached small bracket for installation. Each system is different, so in some cases you may need to use the large bracket, which is also included in the kit. As you'll notice, this system requires the use of the larger bracket, so you will have to switch to the large bracket type using a standard Phillips head screwdriver. Now that you have the correct bracket for your system, gently insert the HBA into the PCI Express slot and secure the bracket to the system chassis. Next, inspect the three and a half inch drive bay to make sure it's free from loose cables or any obstructions. Remove the empty mounting sled and attach the WD hard drive. Some newer systems like this one do not require screws as they have a separate self-locking mechanism. If your system requires screws to mount the drive in the system, be sure to use all the included screws so the drive is properly secured. Now you can install the new WD hard drive by sliding it in the mount sled until it is securely in place. Then you may attach the existing system power cable to the drive. Next, you'll need to attach the SATA cable to the back of the WD hard drive. And then to the connector on the HBA, which you installed in the previous step. Make sure all your connections are snug and close up your system cover. Now that the drive is installed and you've reassembled your system and booted it up, you're ready to set up your new drive. Upon the first system start after the installation of the hardware, the operating system will find the HBA and hard drive and install the required software automatically. Start Windows and allow the operating system to boot to the desktop. Once Windows has fully booted up, click the Start button. Right-click My Computer, then click Manage. Click Disk Management. The Initialize and Convert Disk Wizard will appear. Follow the prompts in the wizard to complete the initialization. Next, format the drive. Once the disk is initialized, right-click in the unallocated space. Click on Create Partition from the menu. The Create Partition wizard appears. Click Next to continue. Select either Primary or Extended Partition and click Next to continue. Assign a drive letter that is not in use by other devices, then click Next to continue. Leave the allocation unit size at default and label the drive as desired. Select Perform a Quick Format and then click Next to continue. Click Finish when done. It's that simple. You now have a brand new high capacity WD drive in your system with plenty of room for photos, videos, music, and more. Installing a drive into an empty drive bay as secondary storage is just one way to add a new drive to a desktop PC. You can also replace your current drive with a new high capacity drive. Instructions for that and other options are available on the WD website.